Greetings, fellow musicologists and metal scholars of the world. I'm Alex Tamulus. Welcome to the channel. Megadeth has released the third part of the trilogy that portrays the origins of um, Vic Rattlehead. And this time, they used the album opener, which is also how the album is entitled. It's called The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead. And we can already tell it that it will cover the last stages of a person's life and probably philosophical ideas about the post-mortem. The lyrics, they begin with a very interesting line. Bring out your dead. This was a familiar cry during the time of the Black Death, which was one of the most devastating pandemics in human history, killing 75 million people during the 14th century. And Dave Mustaine will talk about the uh, the plague during the song's verses. The saying, bring out your dead, was immortalized in 1975 by the comedians from uh, Monty Python. And it's a scene where a character attempts to get rid of his grandfather by adding to the card of dead bodies, you know? And while we hear... Um, bring out your dead and there's like a, a belt tolling the video is showing a teenager and he's checking his cell phone the way that we consume news now um and we see that there are several words that appear on his screen you know like uh, war corruption massacre pedophilia secrets pandemic criminality um conspiracy these are written in blood and the news are blood-stained this is Dave Mustaine showing you the evils of the world and how he sees the media coverage and, and everything else. The guitar begins um, right there and it sounds like a funeral dirge. It's a somber song, kind of like a lament, expressing mourning, grief, which would be appropriate for a performance at a funeral. It's a funeral march in um, F minor. They also have the dominant C minor, so it's kind of like the Marche Funèbre from uh, Chopin, and it imitates this solemn pace, you know, this funeral procession. Kiko, he keeps playing this funeral dirge, and you get to see this rich executive slash entrepreneur. He's um, smiling, very wealthy, powerful, influential, and it's a pity because this guy looks a lot like um, Umberto Eco, and, you know, the Italian scholar, and I love Umberto Eco, but uh, it's already a pity because I, I know that this guy's going to suffer because Vic Rattlehead is the Grim Reaper, so he's here to collect his soul, and his entrance is pompous, you know, the song is just blasting now, there's the main riff, still like uh, arpeggiated, um, very tasteful, Vic is looking for the millionaire and the guy is just struggling and he'll probably have an heart attack. What we do know is that Vic Rattlehead will take his sweet ass time because the moral here is that you get what you paid for. You made people suffer, now it's your turn to suffer. So um, in the meantime, if we analyze verses one and two, uh, Dave's talking about Black Death, you know, the plague arrived in Europe um, in October of 1347. And uh, 12 ships from the Black Sea, um, they docked at the Sicilian port of Messina. And people who gathered there, they just saw that the sailors were all like a lot of like dead people. Um, the ones that weren't dead were gravely ill. You know, the Sicilian authorities, they hastily ordered the fleet to really leave the harbor. But it was just too late, you know. The Black Death would kill more than 20 million people in Europe alone. All right, but now we have a calmer section. You have the chorus, and it's still a, a lament, uh, but now it's related to the innocent. Evil is everywhere, but the ones who truly suffer are the innocent. Dave mentions another plague, you know, this time typhoid fever, which was also a problem in ancient Greece and ancient Rome. And he also talks about the smell of roses, how this is an attempt to mask the smell of death. There's this um, wake experience where you can already tell that the smells are linked to something that's sad. Verse number three now, it keeps developing the idea of nature's cruelty, you know? Nature is just uh, treating everything as compost, you know? It's basically how sustainability happens. Everything's just made out of carbon, can be reused, hence the gazillion of animals who've died in, in the history of Earth uh, and are now contributing to our society via the use of oil and its derivatives. And then in the end, when he asks you to open up your eyes, 
and, and see the dead, he's probably asking us to think about the causes that got us to this place and the fact that the world is full of evil. And, and, and that's a major factor because Dave is a born-again Christian and he's going to link this idea to his seven capital sins. So from this point onwards, the video is very much like Dante's Inferno, you know, which is, um, which is already an image that was heavily influenced by the Greek version of hell, which is called uh, Hades. We see the capital sins, they're written in blood on, on the newspaper, and the rich guy is just still suffering, representing the aristocrats who rule the world ruthlessly. But death comes to rich and poor, you know, and Dave screams like, die, 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 and we see the lost souls, they're crawling towards the river Styx, and Vic Rattlehead is the boatman, he's Charon, he's, uh, he's Hades, he's uh, the authority there, portrayed as justice. That's the beauty of music, we get to be exposed to so many things in, in five minutes, and combined with the images, you get really a thorough experience, so congrats to Dave and the guys. The album is vicious, and I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and hit the bell button for more content. And always remember that music is what music does, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.